Hey guys, I want to do a little update on Blender. It's on version 2.92 and I've been doing this video editing series in case you don't know. I'll leave a link down below to the latest one, the whole series if you want to watch all that or whatever. But video editing with Blender, it's a real thing. It works okay sometimes. Uh, and there's been some improvements that haven't really been addressed. So it's kind of weird. Like, let me, uh, let me just go to their site here. All right, so... Uh, release notes on 2.92. Here we go. Here we go. Quick search for video. There's now theme alternate row colors in the video sequencer. I couldn't figure out how to do this, but if you click on it, you can see where they made the changes. Just uh, looks like there's... No, this is just like a visual change. So I don't think there's a whole lot to actually uh, go off of on this. Like there's no tutorial changes so that's the only thing they mentioned but in the video they did like uh the the new features here in less than five minutes and here they mention that they've been working on the video editor to improve it and that's it so i have noticed a few things so i think this is just kind of flying under the radar we're going to do a little test today and see if we can uh, just observe these new changes and see how it goes so we're gonna yeah just launch Blender, of course, uh, if you want to follow along, you do have to be on the latest version, 2.92. And we're just going to go up here, click the button, go to video editing. And we're to our video editing thing. So I'm just going to bring in a video, just a random League of Legends one. It's pretty long. Um, and we're going to bring in some audio because previously there was this bug where when you duplicated audio, it would like scream at you and extremely loud. Uh, I don't know. It was weird. It would just, it just had a really big problem with duplicating audio. So we're going to test and see if it still does that in this latest version. There was no mention of it that I could tell. So I'm going to just bring in some audio and I'm just going to extend this out and hit page up down here. And copy this in frame there. Go back here, press home. Now, I don't expect you to follow along. Most of the stuff I'm doing, I kind of explained in the other tutorials. So I'm just for really just a quick test here. I'm going to display the waveform on that. Um, I'm going to press T, go to this little slide. Well, now let's just, let's just make a few random cuts here. I don't, just to, just to kind of get some things buffered in, because that's, uh, that's generally how, like, I'm working when I like, have this audio bug, so I just kind of want to replicate that a little bit. Oop, don't want to do all that. All right, so we'll just move some things around. So maybe, maybe go in here. Okay, so in theory, this, I'm going to mute this audio and just do... I don't know how loud this is going to be. I just don't want to suddenly blare it. Okay, so we're going to play this right here and see what it does. Seems fine. Now, if we do a copy, paste it over here, and now let's play it over here. So what used to happen when you did this, when you just did like copy and paste because you wanted it in two different spots, is it would just like triple buffer loudness scream in your ears so loud for no particular reason. So let's see if it still does that. Okay, I'm gonna mute the legal legends audio there doesn't seem to be doing it. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, make another copy over here. So as far as I can tell, this bug is fixed of this whole copy audio and it blaring in your ears for no particular reason. It seems to actually be working properly now. Now you might have noticed that like this sequencer just seems faster. So I believe they've done some kind of memory improvement. I don't know. I still, they didn't seem to mention it in any patch notes, but there does seem to be some improvements behind the scenes. Just wanted to point that out, do a little live quick test here and kind of confirm. Um, now I, I'd have to see like the change log or code to hundred percent confirm, but I can say it seems like it's fixed. So uh, I'm going to do a little digging in and see if I can find out if there's there's more to it or if there's any any change log that i missed 
about this sequencer being improved. Maybe in 2.91, I didn't cover anything in 2.91. Uh, let's go back, do the 2.91 release notes, see what kind of video stuff they mentioned. Faster video encoding, decoding. So this is probably where the sequencer was improved, actually in 2.91. Improved performance, especially noticeable when viewing results and repeated image. Cool. Smoothness of UVs can be okay. So yeah, these two are big. That's probably where we're seeing the improvements actually from last version, which I didn't cover. I didn't really test. Um, let's see. Anything else? Let's improve some distortion. and Some uh, FFmpeg libraries now supported. Oh, okay. Vectorization. Uh, yeah, I'd have to dig in and just know exactly what that means, but it appears that uh, it's probably these sequencer sequencer improvements that are making the big changes. All right, well, that's it. Just wanted to point out that Blender video editing is getting better. Test it live. It seems to be a lot better. Uh, I don't use it quite as much for video editing just because I've kind of moved to DaVinci Resolve recently, but I still do occasionally use this. It works great as a video editor, and uh, people still seem to ask, even though I cover it in every video, the same questions, which I answer in almost every video, so I'm not going to get into that. But thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and uh, I'll try to get to them unless they're a repeat of stuff I've answered a million times already. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.